Lamont McIntyre. Uh, I'm an exoneree. I've been free now for a year and four months. Since I've been home, I've been fighting for uh, uh, reform in the justice area. Anything has to do with wrongful convictions. That's been my, my aim and my goal since I've been home, and that's what I continue to do. You know, in Kansas, we had no law that uh, addressed wrongful conviction compensation. So if someone went to jail for a crime they didn't commit and then got out, there really was no opportunity for them to make a fresh start. No income, no job, uh, no great prospects, and zero compensation from the state. Uh, the bill itself is a safeguard. You know, you go home, uh, after so long, and then you don't have the support that you need, you know. What people don't understand is you don't have anything like clothes, uh, ID, uh, a place to live, car, nothing. So this bill does a couple of things, and in a way we've kind of blended approaches from other states. Obviously we wanted to make sure that there was that financial um, component to it. You know, there really is a life at stake here, so how do you help those people who have been in prison wrongfully to start over? I spent a lot of time thinking about my own child, Justin, growing up um, into adulthood, those things that these individuals had missed out on. So they are able to have 130 credit hours of college. That will be paid for, as will um, the fees and supplies and housing. Um, they would also have the exact health care insurance that um, any employee of the state would receive. For that kind of a bill to be passed, it not only affects me, but it affects my family too. That means a lot. I thought it was really important to um, show that I'm not just going to talk the talk, but I'm going to make the walk. And that's why I'm passionate about it, because I think it's absolutely incumbent on us as a society to get it right.